we're going to talk today about the three main stretchers that we use in GCRG. So we've got the basket stretcher over here, which is useful in um, mines rescues, or it's also useful for places like Otterhole, where we can take the casualty uh, down a steep slope. We've got the short slick stretcher, which is also known as the Slix 50. And here we've got a new stretcher that we've just uh, purchased from GCRG, which is the new Slix 100, also known as the Slix Spelio. And I'm just going to run through the contents of the stretcher and we'll have a look at some of the differences between this new Slix and the old Slix 100. So it's pretty similar. Um, we've got the outer bit of the stretcher and we've got the inside bit here which is the spine board so we also keep some extra equipment inside the stretcher so here we have lifting um, lifting slings. These are colour coordinated so the green ones connect to the green holes on the stretcher and the blue ones to the blue holes and that will give us a horizontal haul. We've got um, harness, the full body harness, that's for attaching to the casualty if we have any uh, vertical fall. We've also got the jag rig, which um, Ian and Bump are going to talk about as well. We've got a thermo rest, which uh, will give a bit of added insulation to the casualty. Then extra bits of strapping which are always useful. A big long sling which we can use as a header rope, attach the top or a drag um, rope attached to the bottom. Some goggles which uh, because people have had trouble trying to find these we've now, we've now got them in a, a nice bright red bag for you. And in there we've got a pair of gloves, some goggles and a balaclava. We've also got some bigger goggles in case people have got, um, got glasses. And lastly we've got an adjustable neck collar and a bit of extra padding. Now you may, might notice that the, the main difference here in this spine board is the fact that we've now got head blocks on here. So these are, they're quite heavy actually, they're um, sort of foam rubbery things with velcro on the bottom. Um, the rest of the spine board is exactly the same, we have the lumbar pad here which can be positioned along the stretcher to match the casualty. And the other change, I think this, this top bit here is a lot more rigid, but I think that's because um, we've now got these blocks on there, so they have to have quite a rigid base. Those uh, holes there are to go by the casualty's ears, and they can be stuck on and moved up and down into place. And we've got a couple of straps here that would go across and just secure those um, head blocks into place. So that's the main difference really with this. Everything else is the same. We've still got our crotch straps and the colour coded straps that go across our spine board. So that all looks pretty similar. As far 
as the outside of the stretcher goes, it's all the same. We've got um, these straps here, these red straps connect the spine board to the main stretcher and they are just, uh, just a buckle which feeds through the spine board and onto there. Now the other difference with this stretcher is that there is a big metal plate now on the back of here. Um, on the old stretcher, uh, I think there was a there was a plastic plate on there, but that this is a much more substantial metal plate, and I believe that when you've got it all together, the head blocks actually stop that problem that we used to have with the top bit bending down on top of the casualty's face. So that's uh, pretty much the the Slix 100. Um, if you do take it underground, don't forget it always goes with the cast bag, which is um, this one here. Right, so we'll move on to the Slicks 50 now, the short Slicks, and we'll have a look at that. Here we've got a Slicks 50 stretcher, and the contents of this are very similar to the Slicks 100. We've got a full body harness and our lifting straps we've got our red goggles bag our pull rope or uh, sorry, header rope, bits of strapping, neck collar, and some padding. We don't have um, a thermo rest in this because it's uh, because of the nature of the the stretcher we might want to take the bottom bit off which I'll show you in a minute um, which you know you can't put a, a therm rest in there but we do have bits of uh, insulation um, and we've also got a short blanket here that will go with this stretcher so it's not a full um, CAS bag it's actually um, a blanket that just goes wraps around and, and keeps the body warm and um, there is a a new cas bag that is being developed at the moment by uh, cave rescue um which we might we, we're going to have um a chance to play with that soon and we'll see how that fits in with the short slicks and the main stretcher but we haven't got hold of that yet in development so the main difference between the Slicks 50 and the Slicks 100 is that, as you can see, this is a lot shorter. It's also articulated here, so if we want to, we can put this section down. And the other thing is that the spine board is built into the stretcher. The straps to the spine board are actually built into the stretcher. You can't uptake this out physically, so that's all one piece. The thing that people get confused about with this stretcher is the skirt bit. So when it's packed in the bag, the skirt is folded up inside and it just looks wrong when you unpack it and a lot of people try to try to undo the skirt and turn it around but you don't need to you can take it off if you have to if you're in a really confined space which is what the stretcher is for but um the skirt stays on really unless you have to take it off 
it just gives a little bit more flexibility with the legs. Um, what you have to do is just bend this round. It does bend. And you can see there's the handles on the outside. And when the casualty's in there and all strapped up, you can see how that works. And this end bit is flexible and can move around which is very helpful if you're in a confined space or um, you need that little bit of extra flexibility to get around corners and things. Uh, you can haul vertically with it, exactly the same as the main stretcher. So the haul points are on here. This head piece, if you remember the other one just folded across, but this is a rigid head piece which was tried out and people found that the problem with this was is if you're in a passageway and you're hauling somebody along this bit here always gets um, gets stuck under rocks and gets trapped and it ended up being a bit of a uh, getting in the way too much so I think they've gone back to the roll top uh, head piece as being a, a, a better design so what we can do with this because it's uh, there's less few handles on it so less people can actually carry this stretcher uh, as I say it is used for confined spaces so if you're using it in that situation then you can't get that many people on to, to manipulate stretcher anyway but when you get into a larger passage what you can do is take the short slicks and put it inside the slicks 100 um, and they're fully compatible and you can just stretcher them in. You don't need to take them out of this because remember the casualty when they're in this they're actually in the spine board so you can use this stretcher inside the shell of the Slix 100 and you've still got your, your casualties still um, got their, their spine protected. So here we've got the 650 inside our new Slix 100 and totally compatible you've got your eyelets here that are just get connected again with the uh, the little buckle straps so that will just strap onto there and you just in case the 650 inside the Slix 100 stretcher the short slicks, the slicks 50, this is kept inside the stores. Uh, it's not kept inside the trailer because there are only certain circumstances where we would use this one. The slicks 100 is kept in the trailer, like I said before, and our old slicks 100 um, is, has been demoted now to our training stretcher, but it's still going to be all fully packed and ready to be deployed if, if we needed it. If we needed two stretchers, we've got two, two full main stretchers. Um, and our old training stretcher, which is the orange one that you might have seen, is now going to be donated to uh, an overseas rescue team. Uh, it's been refurbished at the moment just to make sure that everything's okay on it and then we're, we're going to donate it. I think that's it for stretchers. I'm going to talk now about the new JAG system. Uh, so it's over to Ian and Bump. <laughs>